Okay, so I'm back at Miwa. Uh, today is 12 November 2022. We just had a uh, uh, an open house at the uh, uh, where the uh, the builder that is going going to be working on our house uh, completed a house, and uh, we were just looking at what he just finished. Really cool, uh, really cool outcome. And we're really excited to see uh, the outcome of our house starting next week. Uh, little by little, I've been making multiple trips after work. I drive up to Miwa, load up the truck with uh, leftover furniture, the stuff that was in the house. And then during lunch, I'll make a quick trip to the uh, local recycle center. I don't know, I've probably done that eight to 10 times now. And just load up the truck. This truck has been awesome. She uh, she runs up the hill pretty pretty quick. It's pretty fun to drive too. Uh, the garage here is again. I stuffed everything in here, uh, and then uh, um, now I'm taking everything out little by little. But it's it's getting there. Obviously, still a mess, but. Probably another month or so I should be done clearing it out. Looking forward to making those and some nice workbenches. I was just looking at these metal glass shelves right here. Maybe a coat of paint will uh, make them quite nice. Still slides pretty good. So I think, uh, I think I'm gonna mount them on the wall up here somewhere. I'm not sure quite yet. They are a total of so it looks like there's three of them in here. Um, this is a really well built garage, just that I guess they stopped short. No electricity and no no garage doors. But uh, maybe not part of this project. The garage doors will not be, but uh, for sure the electricity. We just uh, we just talked to the Kayakistan, uh, the, the builder, and uh, we're gonna have him. Uh, Put some electricity in here. But again, it's a really well built, nice, nice uh, wood, very strong bolts. Uh, the siding is some sort of like concrete type of siding. Um, kind of shingles. I'm not sure what they'd be called, but yeah, it's the, it um, lasts forever. I'm gonna walk up to the house real quick. So again, uh, construction begins, or renovations, I should say, start next week. He has started bringing some of his stuff over. We cleaned out the carports the other day. And eventually I'm gonna work on the, the carports here, make it a little bit more airy probably replace this roof even though it's not a bad roof but I want some of that transparent type of roof to get some more air and sun in here probably remove those concrete walls and again make it a little bit more airy make it more of a uh, little place to hang out here barbecue you know kind of an extension of the the kitchen, which is right here, and then the living room, dining room, I mean, which is going to be right there. Right by this air conditioner, there's going to be a sliding door where the sliding door is into the corner. That's where the pantry is going to be extended out. So this area is going to become a little smaller with the pantry, but, um, I guess kind of a necess necessity or, or, or nice to have. The, the little guest house, the casita we call it. Again, they're going to add a, a uh, shower and bathroom to this end right here. Get rid of that front door 
put it put a door where that sliding window's at. Again, so he already brought his uh, porter party over. And it's the fall, so well now the leaves are starting to fall off, but they were just absolutely gorgeous, bright red leaves on that maple tree. Today I'm going to focus on uh, cleaning out the, the storage unit right here. Yeah, eventually I need to give it a good paint and fix that, um, fix that siding, the wood siding on that. But it's, again, it's a really well built uh, storage as well. But I'm going to focus on removing the stuff that I put in the guest house and uh, relocate it into the storage room so that when he's ready to work on the guest house, he can uh, get to it. Um, a couple weeks ago, Choco and I came out and uh, cleared out the, the pond, the garden. We removed all these bushes that were right there, covering up all these beautiful rocks. Still need, to, uh, still trying to figure out what I'm going to do here. Uh, part of me would love to build a pond and have some koi fish, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that quite yet. I am concerned about water leaking into the house and whatnot. But uh, for sure, one of those like a uh, little water fountain that has the uh, plastic bottom so technically theoretically it should not leak um, but yeah we cleaned it out really nice um, we need to work on that soon it's gonna start getting cold soon actually it's a uh, quite pleasant right now for November a couple weeks ago I cleaned out back here too Clean up the side of the house. And uh, yeah, cleaned it out some more. Right there where that electrical box, that's the, actually the, the contractor's electrical box. Right in this area, we're going to build a uh, external um, or an extension to the house uh, laundry room as well. Here in Japan, laundry rooms are in the bathroom which is a pain in the neck because one you know you're drying your clothes in the bathroom just taking up space and whatnot many people dry their clothes um, air dry it and then they have to take them all the way upstairs to the second floor or something like that totally inconvenient so what we are going to do is uh um build an extension the the, the wash and dryer is going to be right here with a little sunroom attached to the bathroom so all you know a couple a couple feet from each other which is you know convenient we come back around the house and let's see how the backyard is looking the other day i sprayed a little bit with some weed killer just to see the effects i didn't want to get too carried away with that but little by little we've been pulling weeds and burning weeds and everything um yeah we have another pile of weeds right there we need to burn and but it's looking a little bit better i can see over there where i sprayed that some of the weeds Kuzu, yeah, it actually, actually died. That's nice. Or at least they shriveled up a little. Let's see. Get up here. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that kind of. I see I uh, sprayed right here just to see the effects of these vines. And obviously, it's not going to kill the the plant because you have to dig that by the roots but at least it kind of killed the leaves so probably stopped them or slowed down the growth I need to come out here and finish that up and the property line extends 
up to where that pole is at and follow follow around all the way down down the hill where the garage is at over there where the mountain is at <laughs> basically the, the chestnuts but property wise it's called the mountain still need to do a lot of weeding over there as well oh still Lots and lots of work to do, but looking forward to it. Excited. All right, so once again, uh, we saw his work, the house that he just finished. Really impressed. Everything is uh, cedar, or most of it is cedar. So you have the cedar smell. And uh, according to him, that smells remains forever. And, uh, really really like that smell it's on the other side of the house okay so now i'm gonna get started on cleaning out the shed and call it a day in a few hours from now Okay. Again, looking, looking forward to the construction and uh, probably the next video will be of uh, the progress that we make on the house.